Now, signs are up warning people about the danger, but they're not everywhere. Kick News reporter Tina Ezzedine is live now in Long Beach. So, Tina, we're told not everybody knows that the water is off limits. You've seen some people in the water. Indeed, Jeff. I want to point out it's 5 o'clock on a beautiful Friday. So, to your point, take a look here behind me. I'm bringing you this live report and pictures from the South Shore here in Long Beach. And as you can see, it is busy. There are people in the water, as you can see, live from our camera. They should not be. This should not be happening. Why? Because, as you mentioned, there's a sewage spill. And behind all of this, as you can see, these people, they're on the water. This is the L.A. River that you're looking at, right where it connects to the ocean in Long Beach. Pat and Jeff, anytime sewage gets into the river, it ends up here and continues right on into the ocean. But take a look around. It is a beautiful view, but something's missing. You'll see there are no signs warning people there's raw sewage in the water. The timing couldn't be worse. It's nasty. You can't enjoy the water. You can't jump in. You can't swim in here. The irony is rich. A hazardous sewage spill on the weekend of Earth Day. It's disgusting. And what's forecasted to be the warmest temperature in weeks. I hope people respect the sign because it's really tempting. All seven miles of Long Beach beaches closed. The sign's up, but not everywhere. This is the South Shore where people play, the launch ramp for water sports and jet ski enthusiasts, learning of the raw sewage in the water from us today. No way. How come they haven't closed it here? The city tells us it worked with lifeguards to post signs along the beaches, expecting plenty of people, jet skiers and kayakers for a beautiful weekend. The city says it worked to stop the sewage where it started in Downey from reaching the waters, but still. 250,000 gallons of sewage reached the L.A. River before it could be contained. I actually have looked down there and there are, there are no signs. Nothing at all. Nothing, nothing at all. No signs or anything, so that's good to know that you're letting us know this. For Marco Coronel, jet skiing is a seasonal business. The sewage spill, a one-two punch. Due to the reason that it was raining a lot, I had to push it back, and we finally got the you know, sun out, so I'm able to run out and... Man, it happened, but hey, I'd rather be safe than sorry. The spill that started yesterday being cleaned up today, but the damage done. The waters, hazardous for anyone in contact, like this man and woman who tipped over on jet skis and fell into the contaminated water late Friday afternoon. Hopefully none of us get sick because we're going to have to come back here and uh, yeah. you know, figure that out because they should be closing off all these spots and not letting us come in here, you know? Yeah. Back now live, you can see in the time that our report is airing, uh, another truck just showed up with the boat. More people showing up on this Friday to get into the water. So again, nobody should be in it. What happens next? Well, the water has to come back clean with low enough bacterial levels after testing two days in a row. So that testing, we're told by the city, is set to begin on Monday and Tuesday, which means the earliest the waters and the beaches can open is Wednesday. Reporting live from Long Beach, I'm Tina Ezzedine. Pat and Jeff, back to you. Spreading the word tonight, Tina, thank you so much. We're now to a heartbreaking story from Porter Ranch, where twins